The Chicago Wilderness Region is a special place. It has some of the best examples of nature next to a huge metropolis. Our region is home to globally rare ecosystems and dozens of endangered and threatened species. And thanks to the tireless efforts of many organizations and individuals throughout the region, a lot has been protected. As early as 1996, groups came together to form the Chicago Wilderness Alliance and coordinated their individual efforts. Yet in spite of these successes, we know that more needs to be done. Many of our butterflies, our bumblebees, and our other native species, along with ecosystems, are in danger of extinction. While Chicago Wilderness members are undertaking imperative conservation work, they face challenges working beyond their boundaries and missions. Together, we have the potential to accomplish so much more. We lead regional strategy and hold ourselves accountable by measuring our impact. Over the last 20 years, we have coordinated collaborative conservation efforts across the region. With approximately 200 member organizations, Chicago Wilderness leads strategy to preserve, improve, and expand nature and quality of life. To achieve this collective impact, the Chicago Wilderness Alliance has reorganized around six focus areas. Oak ecosystems, priority species, water, landowners, beyond the choir, and data. We are using these focus areas to address critical, interconnected conservation issues. To date, 76 organizations are actively engaged as advisors and lead partners. Chicago Wilderness will integrate these six focus areas to leverage resources, inform strategy, and drive conservation action through the selection of pilot geographic areas called conservation hubs. These conservation hubs will serve as models for collaborative conservation that can be applied across the region. Selection criteria will be carefully developed with Chicago Wilderness member organizations. These criteria will address priority lands and waters, geography, member representation, opportunities and threats, and more. A critical priority is to leverage existing work. The Chicago Wilderness Region was shaped by 11 watersheds. Let's zoom in to one hub, a sub-watershed, as an example. Here we have a hypothetical conservation hub, representing a typical sub-watershed in our region. This hub includes multiple land uses in public and private ownership. The bright green areas in the hub are publicly owned open space. Using the strategies developed in the focus areas, we will bring together stakeholders to develop measurable integrated conservation approaches to enhance and expand existing efforts. Let's take a closer look at how this works. Here we have a growing community lying on the border of two counties. This includes a river, adjacent wetlands and water bodies, major roadways, nearly 1,000 acres of open space, of which 200 acres are publicly owned, and 130 acres are remnant oak woodlands. There are more than 1,000 homes, a corporate park in a downtown area, 500 acres of agricultural land, and known populations of at least four priority species. Amidst all these assets, a planned highway project that will impact surrounding lands and waters presents an opportunity for cross-sector conservation. This involves complex coordination among multiple and diverse stakeholders. In this hypothetical example, several Chicago Wilderness members could take on lead partner roles in the hub. We have the chance to engage stakeholders beyond the scope of the highway project and apply conservation solutions throughout the area. These efforts would catalyze member work using strategies from the six focus areas. For instance, integrating the priority species monitoring with river and oak ecosystem restoration, engaging residential and business landowners in local stewardship, and planting pollinator habitat along the roadways. This work would happen across the hub. Each hub will actively engage lead partners and other member organizations to identify and implement integrated conservation opportunities. The data in these hubs will be coordinated and shared by Chicago Wilderness through a regional information management framework. This example is similar to many other areas across the Chicago Wilderness region. By working in multiple hubs, Chicago Wilderness can ultimately scale up common collaborative solutions across the region which leverage technical, human, and financial resources. These conservation hubs will be testing grounds for the strategies developed within the focus areas. 
The goal is to have these hubs identified by early 2018. With that, Chicago Wilderness has identified several activities and outcomes that will be achieved by the end of 2019. Within the Oak Ecosystems Focus Area, the goal is for 75% of the public land managers in each hub to use a quality assessment tool that will be developed later this year. By 2019, half of the private landowners in each hub will be aware of the importance of the Oak Ecosystems on their lands with a quarter committed to on-the-ground management. Building on the successful selection of 12 priority animal species, Chicago Wilderness will identify priority plants and fungi in 2017. In each hub, 25% of the lands and waters will be inventoried for these species. Sound science and data will inform coordinated conservation and monitoring strategies for at least three species. Within the water focus area, Chicago Wilderness will work with stakeholders to identify and pursue at least one project that simultaneously restores habitat and addresses water stressors. Through the Beyond the Choir lens, we will identify health and conservation partnerships across the region and replicate at least one in each hub. We will work to ensure that engaged members and stakeholders represent the demographics of each hub. We will use the hubs to pilot a regional information framework with all of our lead partners. We will actively engage experts in climate resiliency to incorporate projected changes into conservation strategies for each hub using the best available science. This work will be partially supported through non-traditional financial resources. Our goal is to leverage at least $500,000 for conservation work through untapped partnerships such as highways, regulated entities, health departments, and the agricultural sector. Never before has leadership been more critical. Our region, rich with assets, faces a changing climate and pressing threats to biodiversity amidst economic challenges that impact everyone. Thanks to the strong collaborative culture of Chicago Wilderness, the Alliance is poised to reverse these alarming threats. Chicago Wilderness needs your voice and your financial support. Our nature and quality of life depend on it. Mm -hmm.